My husband has COVID this week and we are sleeping in separate bedrooms. It is currently very late at night. I can't sleep. I can't go get in my normal bed. So tonight's the night. Tonight's the night I'm going to play Control. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The director. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone here? So this is a game I have thought looks really interesting for quite a long time. Haven't played it. I have seen this part. I've gotten maybe 25 minutes into the game, never any further. So I'm very interested to do a let's play yeah, of this game. I see it. Oops. But what is it? I can feel it. It resonates. The things you show me, my friend, I forget. It's all in my head. There's no you, right? Where is everybody? I need someone to point me in the right direction. I don't know if this game is strong on jump scares or if it's um, just super atmospheric, but it, the whole premise of this game is so interesting to me. I think it will make a really interesting Let's Play. Internal lockdown in effect. So she come in on off hours or is just ever something's happened to everybody here. Okay, that startled me. The door opened. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Oh, look at the old pneumatic tubes. Wow. This is one of these kind of retro setups. 
Description records, bureau expenditures. Okay, I don't need to look at that, I don't think. God, even the lighting looks really good. Okay, sprint. I'm gonna go back to walking for now. There's the director. I think that's the guy that just killed himself. Zachariah Trench, or at least the guy that held the gun. He did? Yeah, he did. Oh, it's a bathroom. Okay, that doesn't mean anything to me. We'll go back this way. So I think this will be a game of exploration, and I think it's shortly going to get very, very bizarre. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. It's like janitors. Are we after hours? <laughs> Look at the generic bags of chips, that's funny. Very retro offices. Security order. Collectibles. Uh, can't read it. Now with the headphones on, it sounds atmospheric. For instance, when I was facing that way, I could hear it in, in my right ear that there's music down this hallway. Very cool. Which I love details like that. Are for research and records. Okay, so. Ooh, it's bright. The thing seems very disheveled. Look, it's late at night. Oh, there's a janitor. See him over... I'm pointing. <laughs> there's a janitor. She can see him through the window over there. But it's late at night, but look how disheveled everything is. So clearly something, something's... Hello? Of course something's going weird. It's a nice office. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. The interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. Very good. Janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you want. Okay. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Welcome Ahti, to the, the oldest house. A face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Probably. That's probably true. Oh, I'm back in the lobby. Okay, so I, I gotta take the elevator over here then. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. 
They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Very 60s looking. I'm trying not to talk too much through here. I keep jiggling the mouse. I'm trying not to talk too much of this because it's very atmospheric. And I want to ruin it by yapping the whole time. Clearly something has happened here. There's stuff all over the floor. That's not normal. Oh, there's a siren. It's not normal nighttime sort of. Okay, I can't get in there. <laughs> the door. Wow. Proof terminology reminder. Missions. Proceed deeper into the bureau. Okay. Correspondence. Okay, that's not. In, I'm not interested in that. Certain words you can't use in letters. The oldest man in the world. We tell ourselves. <laughs> that's funny. Look, she bumps right into the table and completely screws up the whole coffee pot. And look, you can see her reflection in that picture frame. Interesting. Internal lockdown in effect. I've used phones like that. That's how old I am. This office looks like a normal office to me. Okay, so that's a clearance level thing, but I can't actually get in there right now. That is the weirdest looking tree. I have to check out each of these dark, dark, creepy offices. These games do such a good job of sort of selling you the, uh, the atmosphere. I don't, oh my God, I thought that was a person standing there for a second. It's this stupid picture, another picture of this director, but I thought it was a person standing there for a second. Okay, there's nothing to pick up in here. I'm supposed to go over there. Sorry, every time I touch my mouse, look, it's jiggling. It's very mouse. It, the mouse is very sensitive. I'll try to be careful about that. Oh, look, old pneumatic tubes, like an old bank. Trench, do not disturb. Okay, sounds a little bit paranoid. <sighs> Investigate the noise in the director's office. Well, that sounded like the gunshot that we heard from the directory. These are the weirdest looking trees. All right. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. He did. He killed himself. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Okay, so every time you see that kind of a funny atmospheric film on the screen that she's being communicated with, so she is tele telepathic? Oh, he's got a nice office. Had a nice office, I guess I should be saying. <laughs> okay, he's dead. That is very bright. Oh, look at the blood everywhere. Are they going to show us what he was... Oh, I can't look closely at what he was reading when he killed himself. But look, boy, he sure did a job. The blood went all the way over to the wall. I'm supposed to pick up the weapon. Oh, my God. 
And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Very, very bizarre. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? All right, we're in a tutorial, clearly. Very weird tutorial, but a tutorial. Look at the floor. It's like marble and the reflections. I should probably enable running again, because... Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. These are the concepts that used to be supervised in the service weapon. Like the house slash prison you occupy. I'm not sure, am I just going to follow this along? Where's the gun? Oh, I have to melee him. <laughs> That's a melee. Oh, there's the gun up there. The same gun. Control the gun slash house. Control the gun, control the house. Oh, the gun has a mind of its own. Have a gun. Now we're going to continue with this extremely bizarre fire service weapon. Okay, this extremely bizarre tutorial. The service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. Okay, cool. I don't have to load it. That's my favorite kind of gun. Uh, this is a ledge, so when I jump off this, I'm going to get attacked, correct? I should probably try to go for the head. Maybe I can kill him faster. Okay, I have to be a little more judicious. Look at these freaky deformed people. Look at that. He's all... Oh, look how deformed it is. Okay, but the blue things. Wow, it takes a few shots to get him down because I'm pretty sure I hit him several times. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health. Okay, so that's what these little blue things are. They're little health droplets. Congratulations, Director. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? Mm hmm. It's the dead man. Indeed. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. 
You know what? Oh, that was the whole tutorial. I'm happy. Happy to be here. She Things are quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Was it not safe before? Alright, he's dead. Clearly, he, wow, he looks completely... I guess they don't want to show a picture of a body with his head blown off. Because there's a lot of blood on that wall. Keep holding on to your shoulder there, girly girl. You got a problem with your shoulder? The obligatory bar and... The physics on some of this. Look, she can walk right into the table and just knock everything over. That I'm sorry, that makes me laugh. Projector. It's very, very 60s. All right. Further into... Oh, voice acting is good. You can't let this happen. You stopped it. <laughs> you. Oh, thank you. That was. Horror. Oh. Get the fuck away! If I can get you right in the head, does it kill you faster? I think it does. His guard. His guard. Are they dead? Oh, they disappeared. Can I get it here yet? Where to go? Proceed further into the bureau. Case files. The service weapon. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows something. Periutilitarians. This object must be bound by individuals seeking the role of. I assume that means director. The ob the object will determine whether what you're qualified to be director. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the something, though their cri the board, though their criteria is unknown. Background, the object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that's now being used as the director's office. So this building is on top of a paranormal location. The popular hypothesis, I don't know, many forms throughout history, I don't know, Excalibur, all weapons. If the objects of power are the conversions of forces based in the, col in the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. I'm not sure where to go further into the building. Is this where I came from earlier? Now I'm, I don't know why I'm going to run into those dudes again either, because they disappeared. Can you hear that? There's random noises in the background. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Breach the hotline. Reach the hotline, says the dead man. Okay. There's somebody floating there. You see them? You can just see the their legs. Oh, there's somebody floating in that office too. Look.
Oh Jesus, there's more of these. Oh! Oh, that's weird. Look, they just break away. They break up into nothing when you shoot them. Was that all the guards? Oh, there's another one. Why are these guards? Is that all of them? No, that's not all of them. There's a fourth one, I think. Look at those. This whole like this whole weird wave comes out of them when they die. Oh, there's more. How many of them are there? Holy crap. I'm gonna shoot these guys before they shoot me. I'm gonna run out of bullets. Oh look it, I need my Is that all of them? I pick up some health. Hear all the voices. What are all the voices? Executive meeting minutes. There's the gun. Oh, I guess I can update. I can upgrade my gun. Okay, there's that guy again. Pure expenditures. I don't care. Oh, the hiss guard. That's what I want to see. What's the hiss guard? <laughs> The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of the Hiss guards used the standard blah blah blah. Prepare to crush while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. It's, is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target eventuals? With combat training, does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, though it's obviously corrupted. Okay, so this, they've been having trouble for a while. I didn't, I walked in after some cataclysmic event, but, oh, look. That's me. I'm the new director. I've, all the pictures have been replaced. That's bizarre. 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 Okay, I don't understand the voices. Okay, he's not a guard. He's just a guy. Oh, that's bizarre. I don't know what the function of those people hanging there is. And I'm very much on edge now because those guards are probably everywhere and I don't know when they're going to pop out again. <laughs> Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. All right. There's my picture again. <clears throat> Look. Oh, okay. The... <laughs> physics in this game are crazy. <laughs> I just destroyed the room by bumping into the chair. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's pretty funny. All that alcohol. Okay, that was a little bit silly. They're chanting, and it almost sounds like religious chanting, except they're not chanting anything that sounds religious. God, look 
at these desks. Does this look like bureaucratic hell or what? I mean, can you imagine people sitting at each one of these desks? That just looks like the job from hell to me. Okay, there's a giant shelter thing right there. Okay, what's that? Reload. Oh, it's a mod. Reload efficiency. Open loadout. Mods. Oh, okay. That's an easy upgrade. Okay, so I'm going to get mods just randomly they drop. Sorry, I keep... The mouse is very sensitive, and if I bump the mouse or try to move it on the mouse pad, it just, like, jiggles the whole screen, so I know that's probably annoying. Well, let's see what this is. Uh, it's a shelter, but there's a floaty guy in here, too. It doesn't look like he's doing too well. Open loadout. Personal health boost. What do I do with it? Oh, okay. I had already equipped it. I don't have a clearance level. This is my mission. <gasps> it's a journal. Who cares? I don't care about that. All right, so their their job is to investigate paranormal stuff. Hello, floaty guy. I kind of want to shoot one of the floaty guys, but I don't want to just shoot an innocent person. <laughs> That's very weird. It sounds like chanting almost. It sounds like religious chanting. All right, more floaty, a lot more floaty people. Central executive. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the Hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Okay, we have to figure out who she's talking contagious. to. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Yeah, I agree that the babbling is irritating. I'm sure it's meant to be. Research and legends, urban legends. His guard, okay. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altar magic as well. Dictate the characteristics of an altar world event. Okay, so they're doing research on paranormal stuff. Hello, floaty guy. I feel bad for you. Hello. I feel bad for you guys, but... Look, look, and you can look up her skirt. Not sure why I'd want to do that, but. Why are they floating? Oh, there's guards in there. I'm going to have trouble again here in a minute. The guards seem to come awake, and sh I started to duck. The guards seem to come awake, and they seem to be problematic for her. Oh, it's radio. I don't care about that. Okay, that's where I just came from. Okay. So 
Something's wrong with this room. Oh, this is the building shifting they were talking about. Because look, th this shouldn't. This room shouldn't look like this. It should not. It should be accessible. So, do I jump over the balcony? I feel like I should proactively shoot that guard because... Oh, there's another one. I feel like I should proactively shoot these guards because they're going to come after me. Okay, he's dead. Where's the other guy? Oh my god! Oh, there's more people. in here. Is there another guy? the control point okay she knows what to do good good thing she knows what to do okay so this so entire building is alive holy shit you did it we did it hello can you hear me Yes. With, us. with the bureau. Are you still sane? Fast travel and outfits. Please talk to me. Okay, she's gonna have outfits. You deal with the compromised agents. Uh I've already dealt with them. <laughs> you mean the guards? I've already dealt with them, sorry. Is it safe to come out? God, lady, come on. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. A new director. Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss. That works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. You think? Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's, Who's? I can't even. Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and 
You probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. Who is you? We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Oh, from that woman over there? I think that worked. The body just goes and disappears. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. You look confused. All right, Emily, what you got for me? I can't cleanse them, I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones. And before my time. Hmm. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. And Director Trench would so know. The thing she's wearing. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication mm. between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director, but that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Apparently you are. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. 
I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Very 70s vibe. That was an hour of control that I'm playing in the middle of the night because I couldn't sleep. And what else does a 60-year-old mom do on a night when she can't sleep but play video games? <laughs>